And earlier we talked about the subject of MPs absenteeism. There's another lecture, the conversation that we want to have now uh, with uh, Inusa Fuseni, where, who is ranking member constitutional, legal and parliamentary affairs uh, committee. He's member of parliament for Tamale Central constituency in the northern region. Good morning to you. Thank uh, good you. morning. Thank you for good being morning. here earlier. Uh, I had a conversation with uh, Odiko, the think tank. They do a lot of research. They've been tracking uh, the work of uh, parliament since 2014, particularly on this absenteeism issue. Also spoke to the executive director of the Center for African uh, Parliamentary Affairs, Dr. Rashid Draman, as well. Uh, to sum it, really, this issue has been going on for, for a very long time now. We haven't seen any um, real action taken by Parliament, even though the leadership of Parliament is aware of this matter. And I was wondering, I mean, should we still begin to have hope? What could be done? Are MPs really learning? Oh, uh, uh, thank you so very much, and, and good morning to you. Uh, I think, basically, this matter has come up several times. Mm -hmm. Since I entered Parliament in 2006, uh, even before I entered Parliament, they were running debates on how to ensure that members of parliament attend parliament and, and, and stay in parliament mm. to conduct parliamentary business. Indeed, the register at the Mills Room has come up several times uh, for uh, criticism because members of parliament have gone to sign and not made it to the chamber uh, where we transact business. Mm. And, and, and there have been many other uh, 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 methods. In fact, it was because the register was not answering to the people who had reported in parliament and had come into the chamber to transact business that's why they positioned another member another officer of parliament in parliament uh, to, to take to mark to okay. register those who were in parliament doing business as an individual member of parliament can you take us through the process how how do they know that you were truly in parliament the process is that when you come to parliament the first thing you have to do is to walk to the mills room and see whether you, there is communication for you. Okay. Now, because you have the mills room where you pick your communication and standing orders and other materials for parliament for that day, the register of attendance is also there. Okay. And so if you are in the mills room, you sign the register. Okay. Now, that is evidence, prima facie evidence, that you've attended parliament. So each member of parliament is supposed to go to this, this room? Each member of parliament is supposed to attend to the mills room and take... Can, uh, they, can they get their research assistants to go? So that's the second thing. So, okay. so people find it, take their, get their research assistants to go to take their, their meals from the meals room. Okay. Now, and they come straight into parliament. And that's why they have positioned somebody in parliament. That in the event that you don't go to the meals room to uh, clock in or sign your name, mm -hmm. you can be checked as being president, present in parliament by an officer of parliament. Now, if you come to parliament, and you think that the business of the house doesn't excite you, but it's a committee meeting that you think and feel compelled to attend. And you attend the committee meeting, they have to mark you within the committee meeting. How do you decide that the business of the main house doesn't excite oh, no, no, you? When, because there's an agenda for the business of the house. There's mm -hmm. always an agenda. And for instance, even on the agenda, you only find statements. And then you inquire and the statement has nothing to do with your area of speciality, your interests. You have a choice? You have a choice not to come. Okay. Yes, you have a choice. I mean, parliament is not a classroom. And so you come to do business, to transact business. So if there's nothing on the, on the agenda of parliament exciting, you don't need to be there. So where do you go? So you go to the, uh, the committee meeting. Or you can even be a friend of, the, of any committee meeting that you think that that business that they have to transact excites you, interests you. You think that you can contribute there. Now, at that committee meeting, whether you are a member or not, mm -hmm. they have to register you. They have to indicate that you were part of the meeting. Okay, so can, you, can I decide that what is going on in the main chamber doesn't excite me? I don't have any interest. What is going on at the committee levels also doesn't excite me. Then what do I do? So, so you have come to parliament, then you have signed and you have gone. Yeah, but what have you come to do? No, you come to parliament. You've, I mean, first of all, you have to come to parliament. Yeah, you have to come to parliament. To work, to be seen as being a part yes, of something. Yes, so you, to be seen as being part of something. And that is, yes, so that is where I have a problem with this arrangement that we have as men with, I mean, parliament. Okay? In other jurisdictions, hey, parliament is not full time. Even if it's full time, it's arranged in such a way that it doesn't conflict with other duties. 
Okay? And so because we are running parliament as a classroom, well, but, but you know, we, 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 give, we, we give you all these privileges. You, you know, you can tell us that we can't serve you when you're on your way to, uh, on your way from and all these things. Uh, and then you decide what you want to be a part of. But so, so, even even so, if it is so, boring, we expect that you sit no, through. You, you, have to Isn't that? you have to understand that these privileges were fought for long before that Ghana became even a colonial Yeah, but my British. point is when you're when you're a member of parliament, when, 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 when you're choosing, when, when you're choosing as Ghanaian a member, members of that, parliament. That's, that's why you can't... And Ghana drew inspiration that, from many countries in writing the We appreciate that, absolutely. But I'm saying... My, so my we point, cannot be an island my, of our my, own. My point is that, for instance, you can't work unless you have so I say express that, permission from the speaker, correct? So as a, as a, a ranking member of the Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, mm -hmm. I think that there is a, there's a difficulty with the constitutional arrangement that we have now. That we are running parliament as a classroom. That whether you have business or not, you have to come. Okay. So so okay. That, so, that so you're talking problem. so you're talking about the ideal situation. You're talking about the fact that this arrangement now, as we have it, is not the most suitable. The, no, not okay. at all. But as we have it now, we expect you to be in parliament, that, whether that it is, is boring or not. So the flip correct? side, the flip side is that mm -hmm. because of the way parliament has been structured. Because of the way the constitution has been structured, that is why you are registering this level of. Assertion. But you you knew you knew what the deal the deal was from the beginning. The deal was. And there are lots lot more people who want to go to parliament. That is how our parliament is running. The, the you deal, don't have a choice, do but, you? But we we need to, to we need to reform it. How what what kind of steps have you taken uh, towards this? Well, we've spoken about it severally. I mean, I have engaged even the majority leader presently, Chairman Sabun. So on this matter. In fact, when the speaker decided to order the business of parliament from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock or 6 o'clock, I thought that was, that was wonderful because that offered ministers of parliament an opportunity and ministers who are members of parliament an opportunity to go to their offices and work for some time before attending upon parliament. Will they? they yes. If there was an extended no, well, period like that, that who What I'm saying they? is that, and then, then we had committees of parliament who had an opportunity to meet even before Parliament sat, you understand? But the way it is structured, the way we run Parliament presently, it is not only ineffective, it's also very expensive. It's very expensive. We come to Parliament, so every member of Parliament is enjoined by the present arrangement to come to Parliament. Mm -hmm. Little wonder sometimes when Parliament is full, you hear a lot of noise. Oh, we, uh, that, that, that hardly happens is when there's a state function, when the president is well, coming when to the president is coming to or address... Or when, when the finance minister is coming so to present. The, so you, so, yes. so that, is, that again buttresses my point. That when there is something that everybody is interested in, everybody attends. Well, but beyond that, beyond that, you I'm see? saying that as MP, you don't have a choice. You yes, have to I represent agree. the people. I agree. I mean, that was, that was the deal from the beginning. I agree with you. We don't quarrel on that. There's no quarrel on that at all. Yeah, so why don't you show up to do your we work? We show up. But the, the Constitution says that if we refuse to show up consistently for 21 days, then the, the rules will be invoked against okay. you. So, so you're, you're a ranking member on the legal constitutional affairs. Tell me one MP who's been punished uh, by this prescription. Because no MP has breached that rule. Really? Yes. But consistently we know that MPs absent themselves. Consistently. Without so permission. On last week Friday, the Speaker of Parliament said, no, Thursday, the Speaker of Parliament said, and consistently he has noticed our 15 names on the register who are always present. But who he has never seen in Parliament? We, we have 275. Yes. There, there are 15 who are all, whose names are always in the register, but they are never in Parliament. He says he has never seen them. Okay. And, but the register is prima facie evidence of attendance. The rule says that you accept your, yourself for two, a number of days. And then every day you are present. So how can the rule be evoked against you? So we have some MPs on the surface of the evidence, cheating, right? Well, I think that I think that you might not be far from being right. That's and and we can't do anything about it because, because there are some people who are putting their names in there. Because we this, the the fact that we don't see them in parliament in committee meetings and and the fact that they always register present raises issues of dishonesty. But how do we tackle this? Isn't that, isn't that an honourable house? Yes, that's why honourable members do not have to be dishonest. But they are being dishonest. I think that the last week, week test, they raised issues about dishonesty. Is it, it, only because the speaker decided to highlight on it, on it 
But before that, just like you oh, said... Oh, no. The speaker was invited to highlight on it. Members of parliament had started raising issue about the number of pre members of parliament present in the house every, at every sitting. But when you come to the house, those who stay in the house don't see those numbers. So they started raising issue. And then when the speaker took the, the order paper and re looked through, he realized that no, 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 no some, something, something was fundamental wrong. Mm. You, have you ever been a member of the ECOWAS parliament? No, I've never. Okay, because my question really was, and you would know what exists elsewhere, uh, is, is there a special arrangement for MPs so that you are not always present? I know what exists elsewhere. I know what exists in the European Parliament. And, and if you fail, even in Ghanaian Parliament, it's just that the checks and balances are not there. If you fail to continuously attend Parliament because you were voted to attend Parliament, mm -hmm. the, your party should issue a report on you. Your, your, that, your party as in your side of the house. house. And then communicate that to the constituents. And but probably that should be basis for removing you from parliament because you're not offering effective representation. Which which of the two parties will do this? Well, that's... As in, act as a check on yourself well, I thought and you, punish your own? I, I thought you, you told me about best practices. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, but I'm, I'm just... So you whether know, they are applicable, I'm just telling you about best practices. Okay. Yeah, so best practices... But are you, are very, you are a very experienced politician. You're a lawyer. You've yes. been uh, a member of parliament for quite a bit. Yes. Have you ever seen NDC and or NPP punish its own in Parliament? Well, there's evidence, but I'm not, because there's evidence that... In our Ghanaian Parliament? In our Ghanaian Parliament, there's evidence. Really? Yes. Because an, an MP has been consistently absent. I've said the, the party has issued a verdict that that NPP should also not... Also, share with us. No, I will share. No, because that, there's precedent. Because that Why goes, won't you share with us? That goes to the integrity of that person, so I will not... No, uh, I don't think so. I think it's just... Well, assuring us well, that I'm, I'm assuring just, us that the parties are in control of their members and a, they and they do act I'm when just, they I'm go just contrary. Telling you that I'll ha I have evidence and information to the pointing to the fact that at least a party in this country has ever and taken that NPP. decision. And this has ever taken that decision. But, but yet you don't want you, yet you don't want to make. I don't want to mention that person. When you were in power. When yeah, when and this was in power under Rawlins. Oh, well, so what happened to the person? Well, he, 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 he sent information that the, that person could no longer represent. The and that was it? Yes. So that. there was a by-election that was held? No, no, no. no. So the, in the next election, he, he was not put so Which year was this? Well, you're narrowing to that you can... So well, go, but you're not mentioning go, names. Go on the front yeah. of your own and determine. You're not mentioning names. But I know that there has ever been... Uh, but you know that, that... And I know a... also that even in the MPP, without holding brief for them, there's always an attempt to mark, to keep taps on the attendance of members and how they So continue. why is the situation getting worse for more This is just getting worse because we are impotent to act. Because of the polarization in the Ghanaian parliament and the excessive partisanship. Who is to be blamed? Parliament itself. Specific because you see, you see, you can't, leadership? Because you see, when speaker, when speaker observed, and rightly so, that 50 members of parliament were, were co consistently absent. In fact, and that in his view, he did not ever see them. But they were, at the time that he was presiding, he saw their names. That was enough grounds for him to refer the conduct of the 15 members of parliament. Okay, parliament. so what I heard today, which is even more depressing, is the fact that some members of the Privileges Committee are also corporate. Ah, so, mm -hmm. so, so, that, so where so, do you go? So that's, what, that's, so that's the impotency of the institution of parliament. And that's why new thinking, it, it calls for new thinking on how to organize parliament. Let me tell you, share with you, mm. what we did in the company's bill. Now, we knew that if we were going to go and wait for members of parliament to come in their numbers, we, the company bill will never be passed. So we entreated all members of the Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee to be in parliament. We also entreated all members of the Finance Committee who were interested in the bill to be in Parliament and ensure that we had the minimum number to transact business. Interesting. And that's how we were able to get the law. Passed. What's the number that forms a quorum? Well, it depends on what business you are transacting. Depends on what business you are transacting. And so, but the, the you know, as a battle lawyer, you know, there's always a presumption that the 
there's a presumption of regularity. Mm. So if you are even three in the house transacting business and no one raises a matter of quorum, there's a presumption of regularity until it is raised. And immediately it is raised, you have to stop business. My earlier guests said this was going to get worse because of the election 2020 just around the corner. It there need are not some get primaries worse. coming it, up as well. It need not get worse. worse. It's, an, it's a political arrangement that we have chosen for ourselves. You just need the institutional mechanisms, the checks and balances to right the wrongs and ensure that members of parliament are held accountable. In this case, when the checks and balances are not working, uh, what, what should be our next move if as individuals we're concerned about this, what can we do? It calls for new thinking. How do we, in the face of, uh, of the fact that we are experiencing absenteeism in parliament and that the checks that we have put in place are not simply working, what do we do? So new thinking. The, the final, my final question, uh, uh, really. When, when your name is taking out, struck out like the first deputy speaker did, acting as speaker of parliament, what does it mean? What's the significance of that? On the, on what? Your name taken out of the register. No, your name cannot be taken out no, of the register. No, as in struck out, because he said he didn't see them. No, he didn't strike out those names. Oh, he didn't. He just said it. He said it, yes. Oh, yes. he didn't act on no, it. No, 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 he couldn't strike out those names. Why couldn't he? First of all, you need this. There's a prima facie evidence that they were in the house. But there is an observation. <laughs> there, there's an observation from the, from the, uh, the speaker that he's not seen them. Mm -hmm. That calls for evidence. So, so these are matters of fact. Okay, so you can't just strike out on the basis of the fact of ocular illusion that I've not seen them, and then so I, I'm striking out their names. You need to further investigate that matter because it's a matter of fact. Really? Yes. You can't. That will be an exercise in, uh, in unconstitutionality. <laughs> so where are we? Well, we are, we are back to where we are. That Look, and so somebody said, well, why don't we clock in? Yeah. Okay. Would that help? So put put clocks, put the devices on the doors, entrances to the chamber, and get members of parliament to clock in, and they can move out of in and out of the chamber any time they want un, until the second time that they are leaving the house. Then they clock out, and make sure that members of parliament clock out, so we mm. know when members of parliament come to the chamber and when they leave. Well, so if I come to the chamber, you usually would start at 10 a.m. Yep. If I come at 10 a.m. and I look at the business uh, of the day and I don't find it interesting enough, I can just clock yes, out. Yes, I, I clock in and clock out, yes. Yeah. Yes, and then why, why do you clock out? Because I didn't find that day they were dealing with ABC and there was nothing that I, I could but be But is, is that a good excuse enough? Everywhere. You know that I, I, don't, Everywhere I don't find... Everywhere in Parliament is so. You don't, you are not... You, in Parliament is a debating chamber. Okay, Parliament is a debating chamber. And so... The person, unless we are just going to the going to sit down in parliament and be talking, it's a debating chamber. That is why even when parliament, when there's what heated debate on the house, you see some people not contributing. Those even people that you will expect to contribute because they simply don't have, don't have information, idea, knowledge, expertise of what is being debated, and so. So it's not as if to say that everybody must talk in parliament. No, 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 no. Yeah, but what did we no, send? No, 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 well, no, what no, did no. we send you there for? No, 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 no. If you don't have any ideas, why did we? Why but did, why did we send you voting. there for? We will always vote. Interesting. And so some people are there really to vote. <laughs> oh my God! Well, parliament is a very interesting place, isn't it? Well, thank you very much for your time this morning.